Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. So glad to see you. I'm here today with everyone's favorite boatless angler. We've got Antonio with us today and uh, we just finished cleaning a trout and uh, which had some nice uh, trout eggs in there and we get people writing us all the time. How do you cure your trout or salmon eggs so that you can use them down the road to tie your own row bags and, and use them as a bait for fishing? Right. Well, we don't actually cure our salmon eggs, but we're gonna show you how we store our salmon eggs, or in this case, trout eggs, um, to make sure that they, uh, they keep well and that you could use them uh, throughout the year as you're going fishing. So Antonio, why don't you give us a demo? Sure, so we're fortunate enough to have fresh eggs here that uh, we just got out of a trout we just cleaned. So basically, uh, it's really simple. Just a plastic bag, small plastic bag, and you just want to put a portion for what I normally do is one portion per person for a day's fishing <laughs> <laughs> because you know that'll be for one person for one day typically it's going to make around 10 roll bags for a trout or if you're making bigger roll bags it's going to make about five uh, if you have more people coming you bring more bags okay um, so yeah that's as, as simple as that uh, when you close the bag you want to take as much air out as possible now if you had a food saver you could vacuum seal these you could yeah and uh, these ones are trout eggs they're stuck to a, a skein to the skin yeah uh, sometimes you get salmon eggs that are very loose mm -hmm. but you do the same thing just scoop out the loose ones and put them in put them in a little uh, sandwich bag so you can see I'm rolling it just to get the air out. So what you're left with is an airtight amount of one day's fishing of roe. So what I typically do is roll it up just like that. And if we leave it in the freezer just like this, it's gonna get freezer burnt actually. It definitely so will. So what we do next is we take some newspaper and what this does is it protects it from freezer burn. Exactly. So once it's in the bag and rolled airtight, you just do similar. You roll it into, uh, you know, one sheet or two sheets of newspaper. Roll it up like this. What I like to do is get a piece of tape. It doesn't have to be masking tape. You tape it up. Put the date on it actually, because this is going to tell you um, it could be last year's that you're using. You want to use the fresher stuff first. So it's March. 2017 just like that it goes right in the freezer perfect and that'll prevent freezer burn and in fact we even do that with our fish fillets exact same method with the newspaper we put a video a little while ago showing that to prevent freezer yeah. burn but that's it no cure no, no brine just basically taken in its natural state individual little bags yeah. wrap it up in some newspaper and the natural state what I like is better because you're fishing with the natural flavors and natural scents. So if you can keep it in its natural state, it's better. A lot of people put salt and brine in. I'm not a fan of that. We've noticed that this works a lot better. It makes a difference. It does. Wonderful. Thanks, Antonio. We're going to bag up a, a few more yep. here now. Okay. And uh, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. <laughs>